Fitness Life. Today I thought since it's going to be the new year it would be the perfect time to do a little Q&A catch up video and I'm also going to be painting some pandas. I'm really excited for this because I've never painted pandas before and they are so cute and I'm actually going to be painting a mum and a baby panda which I mean the, the baby panda's face like is so cute. I can't. It is just adorable. Anyways, I'm going to be answering your juicy questions that you asked me over on my Instagram. I'm at Ms. Love Official if you want to go follow me over there and possibly be part of more future videos because I often ask you guys questions and stuff like that. So the first question, what's the most embarrassing thing that happened in front slash beside your crush? Okay, so I've had a lot of awkward, embarrassing moments. Something that actually happened really recently in front of like my, well, I'm gonna tell you guys about it later, so make sure to stay tuned to the video because there's another question about my most recent crush. Um, so something really embarrassing happened there, so I'll tell you about that later. But anyways, I think one of the most embarrassing ones would have to be was in front of Lucas when I kept trying to jump in the stream. Do you wanna have a go, Lucas? Woo! Oh, Come on, Mia! <laughs> <laughs> no, what did you do? <laughs> Lucas is so disappointed, he's running up. <laughs> Yeah, I think what makes that so embarrassing is just how many times I tried to jump in that stream. That was the time I don't like to think about that often, except for the fact that my family always brings it up. The next question is, have you ever been annoyed by any fan pages? So I haven't ever been annoyed by a fan page, but sometimes I've gone onto Instagram and I've been looking through like fan pages that I'm tagged in and I like sharing it to my stories and looking at all of you guys' art, it's really fun. Thank you guys so much because I know how much effort like goes into all of them and it's just amazing to look at them. But however, sometimes I've come across these accounts where at first I think it's a fan page and then I look at how the posts are worded like the captions and like how the bio is worded and I realise they're not a fan page. They're pretending to be me. I've actually seen them off Sienna as well before she even had an Instagram account. I saw one account where they were like pretending to be Sienna, not like a fan account of her, like actually saying, hey guys, I'm Sienna, which is just, um, I mean, I'm not really annoyed by it, it's just kind of weird. <laughs> okay, I'm liking how this is coming along so far, I think. I think this is gonna look good. So, shall we do the next question? Maximilian Hall said, would you date someone younger than you? Um, it depends how young. Like someone who's, I guess what they're trying to say is like the age gap between like a male and a female. Like does the male have to be older? I don't necessarily think so, but like still has to be like a normal age gap. So maybe someone who was a little bit younger than me, but not like too much younger than me. You know I mean. Someone who's still like at the same level of maturity as me, but then that would be fine. But like if they're technically younger, then that's that's not an issue. <laughs> QT Fizz said, if you had to remove one of your siblings from your family, who would it be and why? Why is he doing this to me? I can't, I can't remove Karma and I can't remove Koa. And I can't remove Sienna either. I can't remove any of them, they're all needed and like are amazing. I, I really can't do that, like I, I can't answer it, basically, because there is no answer. <laughs> Stay Fizzy Fizz fam said, who is more embarrassing, Darren or Georgie? They are both embarrassing in different ways. I would say Darren is more embarrassing as in like, for example, one time we were around our nanny and granddad's for a meal and it's like, not serious, but like you wouldn't just like suddenly start making really random noises at the dinner table sort of scenario, but um, that's exactly what he did. Um, so yeah, that was very embarrassing, but I guess that was, I feel like it was embarrassing for all of the rest of the family. He was kind of doing it to make us laugh, but it was just kind of weird and like, I think, because it was mum's, on mum's side, and I think she, her um, grandparents just thought he was really weird. So yeah, that was embarrassing, but then for mum, I guess she doesn't do this so much anymore, but especially when I was like 11, 12, every time, like if we'd be on the street, even in foreign countries where they literally couldn't even speak English, I'm sure we've probably got a flashback to this. So flashback if there is a flashback to mum doing this, because I'm sure she did on camera before. Mia, that's your boyfriend. Mia, that's your boyfriend. That's your girlfriend, isn't it? Mia. She's got a YouTube channel, Mia's Life. If there was like a group of boys, about my age, she would like shout, look Mia, it's your boyfriend, really loud, so obviously they could hear her, and yeah, it was just really embarrassing because obviously they were not my boyfriend, they were just random, random boys. 
I don't know why she did it, but yeah, she doesn't do that so much anymore, thank goodness. I didn't know how to handle it. Like, what are you supposed to do in that situation? Thanks, mum. So, I'd probably say mum is more embarrassing because she would do it in front of like my crush or something, whereas I don't think Gal would do that so much. Do you think once you turn 18, you will leave your parents and live permanently or travel the world? So when I'm old enough that I want to like, you know, start going and seeing the world <laughs> by myself, not necessarily at 18, just like, it might be like, I feel like it'll probably be after I'm 18, maybe not necessarily exactly 18 on the dot, but if you guys mean like when I'm old enough, like to, you know, start living by myself, I think, what I would really like to do is definitely travel and I actually have an idea, like I really want to go to all of the five continents in the world, including Antarctica and I really want to like write a book of my experience as I go for it, like a journal, so, not journal, like a diary book. So like every day like I write down like my experience and then that is like the book. I don't know, that just sounds so fun and it's always been like my goal to like travel to all five continents, especially Antarctica. I like, you guys know I really wanna travel there. So I feel like the perfect age to do that would be like, when I'm at that sort, not necessarily 18, a little bit older, like that sort of age. And then I would like to do it with like some people. But I don't know, cause at the same time, like I feel like solo traveling sounds so lonely, but I think the point of it is that you make friends as you travel, but I just, I don't know how I would feel about that. Anyway, that's still like, a good few years away like I still got a while so I've got enough plenty of time to think about it so I couldn't like imagine myself living somewhere permanently but at the same time I feel like what it would probably be for me is that my parents like house or whatever is my permanent place and then like my permanent place which I could go to that will like always be there and then I can like travel or do whatever I want I don't know it's in such a long time and I don't know what life will be like for me then that I can't really say but I would definitely love to travel and also have like more of a permanent place like a mix what is your favorite Christmas present you received this year I think my favorite Christmas present oh Sienna actually asked me about this the other day she was telling me about hers so I think mine would have to be like my skateboard. I'm like super having so much fun on my skateboard, although I have fallen over and um, it's painful. Also, um, I'm still like practicing. Like I, I wouldn't say I'm like super good. Like I'm not quite a skater girl yet, but trust me guys. See you in a few weeks and I will be a full blown skater girl. It's either the skateboard or maybe my hand lettering book. I've been having so much fun with this and I've really been enjoying it. I'll show you guys what I have done so far. This. Bon. I've practiced loads with this one. So this is like with a guide and then this is by myself. And then I've also practiced this one. Okay. I haven't quite finished this one yet. Um, but I'm finding really fun learning about it all. And it's kind of like, it's really interesting. I really like that present, also my makeup. Do you wish that Karma, Kara and Sienna were your full siblings and Darren was your biological dad? When you're in like a mixed family, it just kind of just, it's like normal and it, like doesn't feel any different. Like I don't know what it'd be like to be in like a unmixed family. Does that make sense guys? Like I don't really wish for them to be my full siblings because like, it doesn't make a difference to me whether they're my full siblings or not because I, I just don't like wish for anything. I'm just <laughs> really loving lives and it doesn't make a difference whether they're my half siblings. Same for Darren, like it doesn't really make a difference that he's my stepdad technically. He just feels like my dad, so like I wouldn't wish for it to be any different because it's great already. Have you ever had a dream in which you kissed your crush? Um, okay, wow, this is getting personal. Not a crush, but I have had a dream, but it was just like someone I didn't even know, like who doesn't even exist, like someone I, I don't even know, but yeah. Um, oh my goodness, so embarrassing, guys. Okay, oh, let's pick another question. <laughs> How do you feel about a lot of your growing years being recorded and put onto the internet for the world to see? I personally absolutely love it because one, YouTube has given me so many opportunities, and two, I actually like that I have all of these videos of me growing up, and especially of like my younger siblings, like literally from the moment they were born, like I have a video I can watch for the rest of my life of them being born, like that is amazing. I can keep reliving that amazing moment, but then also for the rest of my family who we don't get to see all the time, they get to watch our videos as well, and obviously old videos. And I personally like looking back sometimes, I like my videos of when I was like, 12 and like first started this channel and like watching my first videos because it's like nice to see like the progression of like 
me growing up. What are the advantages and disadvantages to always moving to different countries and how do you manage to keep in contact with your friends? I bet it's a brilliant experience and I would love to meet you guys one day. I'd love to meet you as well. And yes, it's definitely a brilliant experience, but it does come with pros and cons. So one of the pros is obviously, well, you're getting to travel the world, you get to learn so much. I absolutely love traveling, I'm a Sagittarius, so seeing new things and being in a new environment and just learning so much, like especially since we've been here in Mexico, like I've learned so much about the Mexican culture and then I've also learned so much Spanish as well, like literally my Spanish was really good before but now I feel like I'm having dreams with Spanish in them, so that's like the level that my Spanish is. The disadvantage I would have to say is like, well, it's kind of like an advantage and a disadvantage. So one of the advantages of traveling is that you get to meet new people and make so many new friends. But obviously when you're traveling to a new place, then sometimes you don't always like to get to keep seeing those friends all the time. So I feel like I don't really mind that though because I'm definitely the sort of person like I love being around my family a lot. So I'm just like happy to have like those as my constant people and then as we travel I get to meet new people and then you know experience like spending time with them and stuff and then I can like message them online like I have friends who I message on Instagram who I don't really see that often but then when we do go to that country then they're in that there and then I can see them then so I don't really mind it like if that would be cast as a disadvantage as you don't have like a friend which you can see like every single day necessarily literally I've got to say baby pandas are so cute except when I was looking up the picture for this painting I searched up panda mum and her baby and some of the pictures were of little cute babies like this one some of them were newborn babies now I don't know I knew that rodents when they were born they're born without fur and they literally look so weird and disgusting I used to have this like old bird as well I used to have this book where it's like about showed like loads of species of animals and it would show them like when I was a baby and I used to be like kind of a little bit terrified looking in the bird section at the baby birds I don't know why but birds without feathers are really gross looking and if there was a section about pandas which I'm pretty sure there wasn't that wouldn't be very pretty either if it was talking about newborn baby pandas because um they're born without fur as well and um it, it, I can't look at it it's um I'm sorry pandas was it gross watching Karma and Co as that? okay this one is kind of a complicated answer first of all I'd say no because when you're watching a baby being born, it's just such an amazing emotional experience of like watching like a baby being born. Like that is like a once in a lifetime opportunity because it's like the style of life and you get to see, I got to see like my baby brother or sister, depending on which birth you're talking about, for the first time. And that was just like, after like nine months to see them, like that was just such an amazing moment. But at the same time, like there obviously are um, childbirth, there is some um, what you could call gross elements. But when a baby is being born, you don't really like pay attention to that. You pay more attention to like the newborn baby, which is just so cute and adorable. You don't focus, like you just kind of like glaze over the slightly more gross bits. Like I just didn't go too up close to the bits which you could say were gross. It's not even that I find it gross, but it just like makes me um, be sick. So with um, Karma's birth after she was born, it was also because it was like so emotional and like intense. I was actually a little bit sick, but it wasn't because I was grossed out. Like I wasn't thinking, ew, that's gross. But it was just like such an amazing, overwhelming experience that it like it was like almost too much for me. Does that make sense, guys? Do people ever think you are Koa slash Karma's mum? So someone has actually thought that I was Karma's mum before. Well, so when Karma was like, she must have been like three months or something and we were in America. I remember being in a shop with mum, like a department store and we were at the till and um, I was holding Karma, but I think it was because the outfit I was wearing looked, made me look a little bit more older than I was at the time. So then the lady was like, so are you her mum? Or is pointing to my mum, you like trying to work out what was going on. Like she kind of was like, well, yeah, I thought you were a bit young to have, you know, obviously a baby at that age. Um, cause you couldn't like really tell what was going on. And I, I think, I'm trying to think if that's like happened before. It's never been like where someone directly thinks I'm their mum, but like they're a little bit confused. Like even with me and mum, because there's a 16 year age gap between me and my mum. Sometimes people like get confused as to whether we're sisters or whether we're, you know, mother and daughter. So even that, like sometimes if the babies are there as well, then they'll get like confused with that as well, especially if I'm like holding one of them or something. It's not really something that happens like super common. Do you stay in touch with your boyfriend from Norway? Um, we actually haven't spoken. I mean, when we, when I went to Norway, I was 12. 
off. So that was like four years ago. And um, yeah, after we went to Norway, we did speak for a while, but then um, like four years is a long time. So we kind of lost touch. <laughs> Have you ever told a secret you promised to keep? Oh, I know one. So sometimes, um, one time Sienna told me a secret of hers and I told mum afterwards, even though she was like begging me not to tell her. But I just thought mum should probably know and it wasn't like necessarily like she'd done something wrong or anything, but she thought she had. So then I just told mum because I thought it's best for mum to know. What's the worst thing Sienna has ever done to you? Wow, this is a bad one. Um, <laughs> what has she done to me? Oh, I know guys, I know. Can you remember one time we were on holiday and um, um, there was a pool and Sienna was learning to swim a few years ago. If you're there, you might want to hear this one. What? The worst thing you've ever done to me. Oh no. <laughs> so what? can you remember that time when you were learning to swim and um, we decided to play shark and you still had a life vest on yeah. but you didn't really think about the fact that I didn't have a life vest on so <laughs> then you were the shark and then you came up behind me and for some reason thought that it would be a good idea while I'm swimming to use me as a backpack. What happened? Well, I really done me up. Yeah. Yeah. You're it, right. It was horrible. It was just, I think I panicked and that's what made it worse. Then I was chasing me. And I thought like when she was going to get me, I thought she would just tap me. And I was swimming here trying to escape Sienna. And then if you come here, Sienna, Sienna started pushing me down. And it was funny because her mom was standing just there yeah. and she was watching the whole thing. But I, <laughs> I, I kept going like this. Yeah, careful you don't actually do it again. Yeah. Sienna, don't push down on me. Come and on. then um, I kept yeah. going underneath and it was really scary. Luckily, I was completely okay, but yeah, that was um kind of a close call, Sienna. Do you and Sienna argue? Yes, yes, we do sometimes. Never about really anything serious. Normally, it's just like silly things. You know, someday, sometimes I'm gonna be having my day. Sometimes Sienna's gonna be having a bad day. So you can't really like expect every day to be perfect and never like have a little bit of a mini argument. <laughs> do you have a crush slash who was your last crush? Okay, this is where the embarrassing story comes in, which I need to tell you guys. So, um, can you remember how recently we went on that like vacation trip where we um, went and stayed with another family in the jungle? And um, it was absolutely amazing. And um, yeah, at, at part of the family was um, a boy who was about my age and um, he was uh, quite cute. <laughs> and yeah, um, so I guess, yeah, kind of, my last crush? I'll tell you the best thing first. So as we left um, the place as well, um, I actually gave him a hug goodbye. So um, that was quite, <laughs> quite nice. <laughs> but the worst thing was the embarrassing thing. So while we were there, they thought it'd be really nice to teach us about a traditional fireplace, which you can do to cook food in. And so we wanted to help out and we helped out making it. Um, so they showed us how to put all the logs in place and stuff like that. And then um, he asked me to light a match to start the fire. Just a match, you know. It's just impossible for me to do, literally. What are you doing, Mia? <laughs> I'm trying to light a match. <laughs> but what for? For a fire, but um, it's not working. You're that? really, you're embarrassing us, aren't you? I broke it in half. Bye -bye. Do you feel like this should be included in your book as an update, like a revision in the awkward moments? <laughs> the whole time while I was trying to light the matches, my crush and his dad was just standing there watching me and laughing their heads off, just me trying. And I kept like lighting the matches and it would break in half. So yeah, after I'd lit, uh, like broken 10 matches in half or like, you know, tried to do it but like couldn't do it hard enough or whatever for some reason i'm gonna do it after about like 10 of them then he took the matches off me and started to like and showed me how to light one so i thought phew it's over and then he even put it on fire but then guess what he blew it out he blew the match out and then he kept making me do it over and over again which i appreciated he wanted to teach me how to do matches but at the same time it was mortifying it was so embarrassing because i just kept kept on kept on trying and everyone was laughing at me because I couldn't light a match. And then even when I managed to, I get, managed to get a flame a couple of times and um, every time I kept putting it in the wrong place. I kept putting it in the wrong place in the fire. So eventually after about 50 tries, I'm not even exaggerating, like 50 matches down the drain, um, I managed to get it in the 
right place, but I'm not lying. I think that last time might have been a fluke. I was honestly so glad and relieved. Um, yeah, that was very, very embarrassing that I couldn't play a match. <laughs> I'm like sure I played matches before, but you know, it, it just, um, yeah, that was. So Maria Quants had to have a little dinner break there and I've actually made loads of progress on the painting. But the next question, which sibling annoys you the most? I think I would have to say, um, I'm sorry, Sienna. <laughs> it's just because the babies, like they're so little, if they do anything like annoying, like when Karma like gets my makeup and destroys it. That's kind of like more my fault for leaving it out and also she's only two so she doesn't understand. Whereas Sienna, sometimes she like follows me around and she just can be a little bit annoying sometimes. Sorry Sienna, I love you still. Anyways, of course, you probably really want to see the painting. So ready? Three, two, one, ta -da! This is my panda painting. Fully signed and everything. Look, I put my signature. I am actually so happy with how my panda painting came out. It was. It was definitely, I learned a lot from it and I did actually have to fix up the eye just now because can you remember earlier, it kind of looked a bit weird. Now they're more symmetrical um, because in my reference, the pan is looking away, but it just didn't render properly. So I've made it facing on to us. Um, anyways, guys, I hope you knew it. What? <laughs> anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to click subscribe and if you're new around here, make sure, what? What am I saying? Anyways, Mia Quartz, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're new around here, make sure you click subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! I don't know why I said we, but you know. <laughs>